This conference will now be recorded. All right, good morning. Um, I just wanted to uh, touch base with you guys out in Wolf Point and maybe share some of the positive things you have going on and some of the, the lesson learned during this time or, you know, state of uh, your teachers, staff, stuff like that. So I'll just kind of let you share out. So it's good to see you too. Thanks, Donnie. So the Wolf Point School District is taking some positive steps as far as student instruction goes by providing K, K through three instructional packets. Mm -hmm. Our time is over, but it was the data in our particular region shows our kids always come in two years behind. And so we thought it was important to continue those packets throughout the remainder of the school year. Yeah. Our grades four through six currently have a blended model. They have instructional packets, but along with their instructional packets, the school teachers utilize a parental app called Class Dojo, and where they're actually providing videos of them doing math concepts or reading stories to the children. And mm -hmm. so the kids are able to turn to the app when they're struggling or be able to text a teacher through the Do Class Dojo app and get immediate service. and. So we have that going on for grades four through six. In grades seven through 12, we are utilizing Google Classrooms. We have packets that's optional, but one of the highlights of using Google Classrooms are a lot of the students are now more interactive than in the beginning. And our teachers are really embracing the, the Google Classroom movement and thinking about ways they can use it when we're back to what we perceive as normal back yeah. in bricks and mortar. And so some of the ideas the teachers are talking about are, um, you know, if a student has to be gone for an extended period of time that they can actually do some classroom, Google, Google classrooms with them when they're gone. So I think they're really embracing the technology aspect of what we've been asked to do. Yeah. I think it opens up a whole new, a uh, set of options for some of the students out there and even even we've been in a few discussions on um, connecting with a teacher outside a district even and running a video in a classroom for students that you know if they're at an upper level or whatever connecting to universities or tribal colleges it's pretty it's pretty exciting how things are moving forward how's your teachers doing during this time Teachers are doing well. We're providing a lot of support for them as far as social emotional support. I think we've had a whole internal memo focused on um, mental wellness. And so we took the opportunity for one of their weekly internal memos to just talk about um, nothing but mental health. And so we had our counselors along with a local doctor provide a video. They created a video about meditation and mindfulness during this time and put it, it was like a 20 minute video, but they provided it to the teachers. And so that was really neat on um, the collaboration we had with the local doctors. Yeah, yeah. another thing the, the teachers, you know, are doing is they're working in leadership team where the leadership teams are tasked with instruction, any plans for re-entry, um, that includes the summer and the fall. And so they're working on what that would look like. And then in the meantime, at the same time, we also have our counselors who have, there's about five counselors in the district and so they have a weekly meeting, but they've also been tasked with thinking of a cohesive framework or a structure that includes a quadrant kind of framework where it's like art or maybe it's going to be mental health, um, that they can actually create this framework for the leadership teams when they're ready to start plugging in a re-entry plan. And so K through 12, we have a cohesiveness 
in how we're going to get back the kids back into the building what what that's going to look like modified schedules is it going to be um extra counseling support to get the kids back up and so all of the plans that are coming together i feel like are all teacher led and um counselor supported at this point nice mm -hmm. so you have any other things that you're doing from the school out to the community or um well yeah a couple of things so we have this kind of fun um signage thing we started and it looks something like this this is actually a outside sign and you can see it's a little age frame yeah and so what we've done is i think i ordered 200 of those as well as three large poster signs and so the the three large poster signs went one on each school and then a fourth post poster says support our students to study and that huge banner went on the district office and what we did with the with the actual signage is give it out to the first um 50 cars who came to pick up their homework packets per building oh, nice. and then we gave the other 50 to local businesses around town and we did this kind of we're gonna it's kind of in the works right now but we asked the business owners to take pictures holding the signs if they supported the students to study at home and to kind of put them in their businesses. Um, and then we're gonna to put together a, a big video, like an iMovie of the business owners holding the signs as well as community members and ask the students to hold their signs and send in pictures, just kind of as a visual reminder that we're all here and we're all supporting the students in this small town. Yes. And so, yeah, I don't do any crazy dances. <laughs> I might sing a song Not later. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> so this, is, this is for that. Well, oh, that sounds really good. So if, um, how many uh, packets or how much uh, food do you guys have going out a day? So for the summer food program, we feed over 500 people and we seem to run out in two hours a day. And so we try to keep it to zero eight to 18. And we ask that the, the participants picking up the food provide a student name, the student's age, as well as the birth dates to make sure that they're under 18 and we're servicing the, the students first. Um, nice. If they have a student ID, we ask for that. Um, it's just a way to ensure that the students are being fed first during this time. Yeah. During our local school board meeting last night, we asked for offsite, or we asked for the school to remain in remote learning, which the board members supported. But in order to, we're not really sure if um, bringing on on-site tutoring would compromise the school food program. So we actually asked the school board if we could do some offsite tutoring in collaboration with our union. And so they approved that. And so we haven't quite got that off the ground, but with the union as well as the administrators, we're gonna offer offsite tutoring for grades seven through 12 to help support nice. students who might need help with the online homework. Like if they yeah. need to be face-to-face, -face, then we can do that, so. All right, well, it sounds like you guys have a lot of good things happening, especially mm -hmm. during a tough time, you know? So that's all I kind of wanted to just catch up with you guys up at Wolf Point and I appreciate time to talk and um, if you had anything else to say, hopefully we'll get these up online, share outs, positive share outs. So that's pretty much all I had. Nope, other than just thanking the teachers for being so flexible and adapting to a new way to teach i think it's really important to give the credit where it's deserved and just wanted to thank the students too for getting online and and trying a new way to learn as well so yeah all right well thank you loverty yep thanks for calling <laughs>